thoughts and I want your feelings. David on the show next to have his say. Smash the <laughs> like and share. <laughs> Up in your chair. Yeah. Yeah, now they're <laughs> slacking David. Hey. Wait, David, I thought you had a good feeling today. What happened? I did have a good what feeling. Happened? We actually, no, the thing is, I know we didn't play the best, but neither did you. We both had chances. I felt we had better chances overall. No, I mean, they, all, they all felt they all they all fell to Pulisic for some reason. It was, he needs to go, but I've said that numerous times. Wow, um, Captain America. And no. Then, no, he's he's awful. And <laughs> when it came to and when it came to penalties, I knew we were going to lose because we didn't put in Kepa. And I know everyone's going to sit there. And that, no, 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 because no, because the typical thing is, oh my god, well you put Kepa in goal the last time and. And and you lost, and it's like, yeah, but what you don't understand is that Mendy is awful at penalties. Like he is the amount of he should have saved at least another two or three penalties today. He got hand, he got a clean hand to two of the first five penalties. Like he should have saved more penalties. And Kepper in in goal is far better at penalties than Mendy is. I'm sorry, it's 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 a fact. It is a fact. And I knew we were going to lose. I saw Mason Mount step up, and I was like, "This guy's going to miss." I just, I just, I, just, I knew he was going to miss. I don't know what to say, but yeah, I, I yeah, did think it was when Mason Mount missed based on your your love. No, I, I, no, the thing, the thing is, I was there like it wasn't the time for him to take a penalty. I thought after after Ziyech scored his penalty, you need someone like Rudiger who's just a bit mental, just to run up and like put it in the top bins. Because if he does that. The momentum of that penalty shootout switches. Yeah, that it switched when Mendy made the save, but then to, you need to pile on that pressure and getting rid of one of your defenders is one way of doing that. And I just felt when when I saw Mason step up, he didn't look confident. His penalties aren't great, and it was an awful penalty. So fair play to Allison; he made the saves when he had to. Um, but yeah, no, it's just a it's just a shit feeling losing to Liverpool again. So yeah, love Do you know it. what I love? Yeah, I love that you're so humble right now. You know what? The amount of the amount of stupid. I mean, you're not. I mean, are you winning the quad? Yeah. Are you winning the quad? The amount no. of stupidness he came out last no. season and the start no, of the season. The no, I'm no, kind of happy, no. a little bit humble right now. I like it. I like it. You're not winning the quad or the treble, so you know this is peak uh, Liverpool. Oh, really? This is no. This is peak Liverpool. This is nowhere near peak Chelsea, and we're matching each other on uh, like every game we played this. Well, you year, said you want to strip this whole team down. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying, bro. That <laughs> you think this gap is like this. You think the gap is huge. Bro, every game we played this year, we've literally it, they haven't beaten us in 90 minutes. We haven't beaten each other in 120 minutes. It's literally come so down to big shot kicks. It's come <laughs> where's to the where's the no, but I'm saying that there is a gap, but it's not as big as you think it is. It really the, the league league says otherwise, bro. This is, is not as big as you think it is. This is Liverpool. The league, at the league table says otherwise, this is, bro. Cool. This is Liverpool at its peak, and this is Chelsea nowhere near its peak. Okay. And if the fact that we're competing numerous times in numerous finals. I'm happy. I'm happy with the trajectory of the squad. I just hope is, that, is, that a, is that a fair point from David though? Like Chelsea, they do have a, a lack of putting the ball in the back of mm. the net. But if you make two signings this summer and add that to the attack, and so they suddenly start scoring, the reason they're not in the title race is because of the, the level of games they drew this yeah. year because of not scoring. You had so you had you had a, a, their Luis Diaz and their Mo Salah because yeah. they buy them. They're there. Like that's why I don't think the gap is but, that. But big, Terry, you you're also to have to take into account. Thiago Silva is getting a year older and their best centre back. He's going to turn 38 years old. Rudiger's already gone. Christensen's going. Aspilicueta is going. They can't like, catch like, been there for 10 like, years. You're acting, you're acting like Christensen and Aspilicueta. Who are going to play instead of Chalabar? They could have been like Chalabar. Wait, wait, wait. There's a window coming up. My whole point is a lot of players. You need to put in a lot of players to fill in these gaps. Ram, Ram, my whole point is is that the players that are leaving are incredibly replaceable. They're all replaceable. Yeah, but David, the, players, the thing is this. The players that should be, the half the players that play today shouldn't even be playing. Like, That's fair enough, David. David but the thing is this, though. The thing is this, though, David. There. At the end of the day, like, it's all well and good saying that they're not good enough or you, they need to go, but... Who's to say that the players that you get in are going to be of a standard way by you can kick on? Can, 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 can we bring in a midfielder who contributes is less than Saul? Because I don't think we can. No, but I'm really not talking about that. I'm talking about your back line. Uh, you look at our back line. Christensen, how many mistakes has Christensen made? This what about season? Rudiger Numerous then? Numerous mistakes. Rudiger, Rudiger's going to be tough to replace because I think he brings a, a certain mentality to your defence that you'll need. But I don't think he's impossible to replace. And don't forget, yeah, Thiago Silva's a year older. But there are centre backs out there that you can get, who you can bring in, and again, providing along with Tuchel system, and apparently because playing in the three backs are really easy, it shouldn't be a massive problem to replace. Okay, them, then, right? David, let me ask you this then, yeah? So you're confident that in the summer window, Tuchel and Chelsea are going to make the right signings to make you push for the league title next season? 
not for the league title, no, because I think we have too because there are too many things in, my, in the squad that I would change to do over one window for it to. So get, how long will it take? It to go. I think it will take. I think not next season, but the season after for winning the league. So it's that think, be his fourth season. Will that be his fourth season? That would be fourth his fourth season. season. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, again, okay. Considering uh, considering season. it's his considering it's uh, is his uh, second well, season. We'll see. Like, considering it is his second season, he's had he's done really well, and I don't think anyone can dispute. And we're that. not saying he hasn't. We're not saying. Oh, no, he no, hasn't. no, 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 no. I'm not saying he. Has, no, I'm not. I'm not. Dis- I'm not fighting you. I'm just saying. Like, I think Tuchel's done, even though we have lost, no, and it is it, very it, annoying. It, I think we've it, done quite well. Over yeah, the past two seasons. Uh, it's, it's one of the interesting. It's one of those interesting ones, really. Like, I, I don't think Chelsea are as far behind as some people are making out. But if they don't buy right, then that's, that's my what, point. That's what yeah. it's going to come down to. So it's. I think it works both ways. If they buy right. They close the gap a lot quicker. If they buy poorly, then they don't. Terry, yeah, you have to. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. yeah, Terry, you're taking into account Liverpool and City not strengthening their team. If we get someone like a, yeah, a shoe and many, you but you could, but you could right only. Right. 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 My point is, right. exactly. No, no. I was going to say, you guys are. At, you guys, it's like in order for you to improve dramatically. You're like at the top of that bell curve, bro. If you know what a bell curve is, yeah, you're at yeah, the very yeah, top. Yeah. You can't, you, there's not much more you can improve. Not much room. I think Chelsea, I think Chelsea half, halfway up that, half that bell curve. Bro, half our defence, half our defence are old and can't run. And so they can't do the whole fullback thing. <laughs> our, mid, our midfielders are, bro, Rick Barkley came on today. That says it all. And yeah. then our forwards, how many, like, if you switch the, if you switch the, um, the chances we have today, how many goals do you think he would have scored? Because I'm still convinced, even with your chances, we score zero. I think you would have scored at least. Oh, two really? Of ours. I think you would have scored at, at least two of us. No, but the, your chances that you created were, were like no, in the cup, in the Carabao were... Cup. I think that's true. If you give Liverpool's forward the chances we had in the Carabao yeah, yeah. final, they walked. We would have. David, I think you're being very disingenuous However, today. This right? game, you I genuinely think don't think that Mark that, no. if, that if Pulisic plays a better ball to Marcus Alonso and Marcus Alonso Dave. chips the ball no, over, Dave, and Dave, Luis Diaz not, had a one on one. No, so that's not difficult. Luis Diaz one on one. What I would, I agree with David. I do think they had the better chance in the sense if they were cutbacks, where you get you hit the target, they go in. In. Okay, and where yours, your, your both of your opportunities at the post, Robertson's was really hard. The ball was coming in quick. Yeah, he was me. It was actually quite difficult to score what he did. Yeah, and also he's a fullback, not an attacker. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, when Diaz hit the post, it was a great shot, but it was one of those. Fifth, it's a half chance. Yeah, and, and yeah. he hit the post. He didn't really believe he was going to score. Yeah, yeah. Sit, like if Alonso's touch was, but I thought it was more Alonso's touch than the pass. If I'm being honest, if yeah. his touch is better, he should be like. For me, Mane or Salah scores that opportunity. Yeah, as an example, didn't get over. Hula six had two or three where the ball's cut back. Hit the target or put it in a decent area in either corner and you score. And that's not a dig at Liverpool. Yeah, no, no, I'm, it's just fair it's facts. It's actually yeah. praise. Yeah. It's almost, I, I get that. But David, listen, mate, I appreciate you coming on, having your say. Top, top man. And we'll chat to you again soon. Commiserations on the Lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. i <laughs> 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 got some more super chats here before we go to some more calls. I want to get through these because you, you guys have donated. 